Welcome to the Two Minute Drill presented by HCL Tech. Final score 24 20. The Jets beat the Steelers now 2 and 2 on the year. Quarterback Zach Wilson returned to action his first game. One victory, but an up and down performance. Yeah, definitely. But I'm excited to see what he does for the future because for him to leave that game winning drive, you know, especially from the way that he started the game, it wasn't really as good as he probably wanted it to be. It was a little choppy, but to end it in that way, in that fashion, to throw to his guys and make those passes that he needs to make, that's exciting for the future. Zach Wilson, one touchdown, two interceptions on the day. The Jets got out to a 10-point lead, then fell 10 points behind, and then ended up coming from behind for the victory. But this defense, Quincy, whether it's the first half or the second half, took the ball away and continued to come up big. Right, and that's kind of one of the things we talked about in the pregame show, was that they needed to get those takeaways, they needed to bring the quarterback down. They did exactly that. The safeties had great communication, they got a few picks. I mean, if if you get that type of game at the end of the, at the, end of the game, that's exactly what you want to see from your team. The Jets had three sacks. They also had one, two, three, four interceptions on the day of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Three of them come from Mitch Trubisky, one of them come from Kenny Pickett, or two of them. Actually, it's a 2-2 two -two split if you think about the Hail Mary at the end of the game. Right. The Jets right now, Quincy, Two and two after four games, have an opportunity to go above 500 next week. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what they want, right? Is it? To, it's to be right here. If you can get out of here at 500, ultimately you wanted to have win all four of those games. But 500 is a, get, a great way to start going into divisional games. 24-20 final score from Pittsburgh. The Jets return back home to MetLife Stadium next week to host the Miami Dolphins.